Hi, welcome to our channel today, Gianluigi Buffon. The return to Parma and the 26th anniversary of him making his debut. So the original shirt that Buffon wore when he was making his debut for Parma was actually designed by Puma and not Araya. Mm. This is the first Araya kit that we've reviewed, so it gives us the opportunity to have a look at what they're all about as well. Yep. Obviously, with the original Bean Puma shirt, then they've had to make a few changes to it, so it's pretty close to what the original was that he would have worn in 1995. They've kept the pattern over the shoulder that was there on the original, but with the print at the bottom, they've had to change that quite a lot. Obviously, there's a risk that if you just duplicate somebody else's work, then you could find yourself in court for it. So it does the job. It harks back to that era. The color blocking panels are in all the right places. I think to actually look at it, there's not really a lot to say for it. I mean, there's a lot of pretty bold claims about the material. It feels very yeah. normal, but there's a catalog of hang tags on the back. Wow. Yeah, it's high energy. It's also a nice, well-formed uh, pectoral mm. muscle with a nice I think that was fight. the last time I was in Italy. What was, was it? Time, Somebody's yeah. paparazzi. Someone asked us to take a photograph. <laughs> I was getting changed. <laughs> Didn't realise that he was going to show up on a hang tag. It's ironic that Buffon's the Italian word for idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so they talk about nanotechnology being within the material, which is a contentious thing in itself. Does it wash out? Does it leach into the environment? Not into nanotechnology, is always it? Not really, not really. I mean, it's, it's Ecotex approved, which is a German company, but that's the, the worldwide standard for ecologically safe mm. materials in the apparel industry. Yeah, but probably getting paid by them. A bit like <laughs> 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 Quick message in from the lawyers, you have to snip that bit. So yeah, I mean, they, they claim that it's got zinc within it. Zinc has antibacterial properties, anti-odor. So mm. I think if it does the job that it's supposed to, then as a fan, you could wear this loads of times and not worry about it smelling. I'm not sure many fans would want to wear that. Not, not often. Well, especially once you get to the collar. So we've got that lovely detail of 1995 to 2001, yeah. which is you know quite nice that you left the club and came back. But that back neck tape is absolutely honking. It's so stiff. Mm. The edges of it have crinkled where they've stitched it on. When I was a kid, my mom had a special thing for cutting That's potatoes to make crinkle cut chips. Yeah. And that was what it was like with that wavy edge. So I can imagine that being deeply uncomfortable as a fan or as an There's athlete. seven layers of fabric in there. It feels like it as well. Oh, there definitely is, because there's a double layer there. Yeah. There's a double layer of the weight. There's a double layer of the collar, and then there's that. Yeah. Two, four, six, seven. And a back neck bugger. So you can oh, God, one and as a well. back. Yeah, so there's another one on. There's an eight. Yeah, good show. Yeah. I think that what I would say about it is I actually think it's in the wrong sport because I think that would make a fantastic cycling top. Because <laughs> yeah. um, if you kind of look at it, all you need to do is add the pockets on the back and Bob's your uncle. Yeah, totally. Like um, handball or... Yeah. I, I mean, I quite like what they've done with the number. Looks great. It's that torn on torn thing. Yeah, which maybe the studio smart. lights will pick it up a little bit where it's got the glossy yeah. Palmer badge on the bottom. I'm not entirely sure what's happening around the edges of it, but I guess it just adds a little bit of additional yeah, detail. Yeah, I like that, but that is pretty much all I like about it. I think as far as the kit's concerned, that... It's I like mean, a tyre, isn't it? It's not even stitched in properly. Yeah. I mean, that really is poor. Not stitch, not The pressed. only thing I would say in the defence is it looks very skin tight. And if that is on, it's going to stretch out and it'll it's lie It's going to nice. be bulbous at the but end, I'd have it's not great. No. Um, the badge is... Man, it's not a nipple grater because it's in the middle. No. Unless you've been blessed with three nipples. Yeah, scalamanga. Yeah, exactly. So it's crap, I, isn't it? Let's I, I be honest. I don't think it's great. I, I don't think want to give it a score because I love Buffon and I don't want to... <laughs> kind of tarnish his legacy by saying that this isn't worth a score but it's but not. we're not here for favoritism so well, let's be honest and give it a one and the yeah. only reason i'm giving it a one is because i think the badge on the arm which is supplied to them yeah is it's not, not even bad. there that's the Serie b badge so yeah so, i wouldn't yeah. even give it that i think if we're giving that lazio effort minus one i think this is down there in that sort of yeah territory it it's a shame because it could have been so much better yeah so yeah rubbish not great yeah, well, if you agree, disagree, don't care, whatever, just tell us in the comments, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Is he any good? No. He used to be. Well, I know he used to be. <laughs> <laughs>